Hi everyone, Pastor Bob here with a little viral video to talk about the coronavirus and the viruses that are uh, circulating in our community and about how we're responding to that here at Tri Lakes United Methodist Church. I know there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of misinformation, there's a lot of uncertainty out there. We want to assure you that we're going to do the best we can to make sure that you feel safe and still connected as you come to worship each Sunday morning. So there are a few things we're going to ask you to do over the next several weeks that will help us gather together as a community with some confidence and to be together in an appropriate way uh, so that everyone feels like their health is not being compromised. First thing we want to encourage you to do, if you're sick, please stay home. We love you. We appreciate your dedication to wanting to come to worship. But if you've got a sniffle or a cough, it would be great if you would simply stay home and take care of yourself. Drink a lot of fluids, get some rest, watch our live stream at 11 a.m. on Sunday mornings at tlumc.org slash live. Share it with a lot of others. We know we have tons of people who do this on Sunday morning and you can watch that worship service. And then as soon as you're healthy, we're gonna be excited to welcome you back here to worship. Another thing that we want to do on Sunday morning is to minimize our contact, personal contact, which is tough for us to do as a congregation. We love to shake hands. We love to hug. We love to hold hands after the benediction and sing that benediction response. It's one of the great hallmarks of our church. But it's also a way that that virus can be spread inadvertently in ways that we don't mean to. And particularly for those who are vulnerable, that can be a really uncomfortable moment. They're not sure what to do, whether to shake that hand or to hold that hand or, or have that hug. They're worried about their immune system. One of the things we do as the body of Christ is we care for one another and we serve one another. And one of the ways that we can serve our most vulnerable populations, particularly our, our eldest members and those who have compromised immunity is to, is to help them feel safe when they come to worship. So we're going to encourage you, instead of shaking hands and hugging on Sunday morning, just for this period of time, to maybe bow to one another or elbow bump or something else, just to acknowledge that we're connected, but also uh, to give them a little bit of space so that they don't feel like uh, that's going to happen. We know that's controversial. We know that some people think that might be overkill, but imagine if you're one of those folks in a vulnerable population. It'll be a great gift to them to know that you're looking out for them as well. Another thing that we're going to do is minimize our touch in terms of passing around offering plates and things like that. So what we're going to do for the next several weeks is on your way up to receive communion, there will be a station there at each of the communion stations where you can drop your offering into a box on your way to receive the sacrament and then sanitize your hands at the same time before you come and receive Holy Communion. We're going to continue with Holy Communion, and there are several ways that you can participate in that as well. It's kind of challenged by choice. One is to continue communion as we normally do it. You would receive the bread, dip it in the cup. That's called intinction, and we encourage you, if, if you have no issue with this, to continue to do that. If you are a little worried about the transmission of germs in the midst of Holy Communion, we encourage you to simply receive communion in the one kind, and that is to simply receive the bread, and then you'll hear the words of institution over the cup, but you don't have to dip the bread into it at that point. A third option is simply to come forward and receive a blessing if you choose not to participate. Again, challenge by choice, we encourage you to participate in the sacrament in any way that you feel comfortable. We know that Christ is present with us regardless. We know that our Community is gathered together regardless, so we encourage you to use your best discretion about all of that. A lot of other things that we're trying to, to do to help you, having hand sanitizer around, although if you've got some extra you could spare, we would love to have it because we're starting to run a little bit low. We know that this is a temporary measure. We know that it's controversial for some of you. We know it makes you uncomfortable because you want to be in that place where we're connecting with one another more personally. But during this season, I want to encourage you to think like a shepherd and that you want to do the best you can to make sure that all the sheep feel safe and pastured well when they come to worship. Thank you for your cooperation. I know that this too shall pass 
and we'll be back to normal before you know it. Be in prayer that God would make this scourge of disease go away and also help us to be more mindful about it in the future. Thanks for your participation and thanks for being part of Tri-Lakes United Methodist Church.